And welcome to this exhibition clash between the Lions and the Dolphins. The Lions are hosting here and want to be able to keep the home field advantage going as we get ready for this one, Chris. What is the key in this matchup? Well, Gus, I think you said it best, home field advantage. This team needs to come out and rally early to get the fans on their side. If you have thousands of fans screaming and cheering, you feed off of that and you can turn it into some positive stuff on the field. This should be a great game in this one. All right, Chris, and with that in mind, time to get this one going. We are ready for the NFL on EA Sports right now. Tease it up, and he'll be kicking it away to get this one started. It's fielded at the two. Gets it to the 21. Smith was there for the stop. So now the quarterback comes onto the field, and in conversations with him earlier in the week, he mentioned that he really wanted to get going early and get into a rhythm. Let's see if he can do just that. They'll start at the 21. It's first and 10. Good coverage downfield. The pass falls incomplete. Offensively, this is a unit with big play weapons. It's just been a matter of getting the ball to them consistently. Wide out Brandon Marshall from UCF has all the skills to be one of the great receivers of his time. Yeah, he really does, Gus. Size, speed, great hands. It's just a matter of overcoming some of the off-the-field distractions that seem to follow him. Between the lines, no question. There are few better. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Well, the defense was out there battling on that one, but that was exactly the kind of break this offense needed. First down and 10. Throws to his left. He's brought down around the 45-yard line by Smith. And we'll have a first down and 10. Has a man to his right. As we introduce the key players on defense, we look no further than Indomitian Sue out of Nebraska. How do you do? He's a dominant force on the D-line. Yeah, Gus, this guy, for such a young player, is as polished as you are. He has the instincts out there of a 10-year pro, and players like him that can come in and dominate the defensive line so soon in their career, well, you know, they're really once-in-a-generation type players. That play loses two. That play was really all about defensive pursuit. They saw the ball thrown. They got there quickly for a loss on the play. Third down, 12 yards to the first. Hey. 
surveys the field. He's dropped down at about the 15-yard line by Delmas. Excellent gain through the air. We'll set them up with another first down and 10. Steps and throws to the left side. He's wrestled down at about the nine yard line by Smith. Number 15 made the catch for a gain of six. Less than 10 yards away from a score now. is out to the left brings it in oh wait no call yet the call is not a touchdown the offense will line up at the nine short throw to the right watch out touchdown just a great route that time. No way that he wasn't going to catch that football and score with that one. That was beautiful. Point after is good. Miami is up a touchdown. Fields is just about ready to kick this one away. Young stands back to field the kick. He'll take it from the two. He makes it to the 22. Jones was there to bring him down. They'll take over at the 22-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Searching for an open man. Let's meet the offensive starters, a unit that has some serious weapons. They call him Megatron. Calvin Johnson, a pro from Georgia Tech, is becoming one of the most exciting wideouts in the NFL. I agree. To me, he's leading the wave of the next group of great NFL wide receivers. He's got size, speed, and an unbelievable jumping ability. It's almost unfair to those guys trying to cover him. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. This team that historically is one that prides itself on its defense, and this group is starting to come into its own. They're building the current unit around Carlos Dansby from Auburn. Yeah, with the signing of Carlos Dansby, they made a clear commitment to improving the defense, and you can see why they like him so much. He's an absolute force who has a penchant for creating turnovers as well. Looks right, throw, brings in another one. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own, 46. Best on the run. Four-yard gain.
They line up at the 50. Stafford with the give. Drop behind the line. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. And looking at a third and six right here. Ball at midfield. Has a man short to his left. He's tackled around the 44-yard line by number 92. It's first and ten. Stafford tosses it left. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. It's a second and 11 situation here. Ball on the 45 yard line. And looks left, throws. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. They're two for two on third down conversion so far on this drive. They'll try to convert once again right here. In heavy traffic. Shuffles his feet in the pocket and he's sacked. So after the sack, it's now fourth down and long. The punt rolls into the end zone. Touchback. They'll get the ball here at the 20. First down and 10. Option. Brought down behind the line. Well, you know you've got an aggressive safety when he's making tackles for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Typically, these guys are trying to not give up a big play in the passing game. Now, when you see somebody in the backfield, <laughs> that's impressive. So they line up at the 18. Fires a laser down the middle. And he's tackled around the 31-yard line by Delmas. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 31. Brown off the left side. He's brought down right around the 32-yard line by number 27.
It's now second and nine. Short throw to the left. He's dropped down around the 36-yard line by number 27. That reception is good for a gain of four. It's a third and five situation. Still looking for an open man. Another catch on this drive. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Brown on the draw. He's wrestled down at about the 45-yard line by Williams. And it's now second and six. Dumps it short. He's tackled around the 34-yard line by Smith. So they have it at the 34. And they get to it. They line the ball up at the 39. Flips out short. Fasano was the intended receiver on the play. Third down and 15. The ball is on the 39-yard line. Throws it deep to the end zone. It's almost picked off. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. They call on the field goal unit. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. I used to always think that offensive linemen should go to the line of scrimmage and hold up either one finger or two fingers and look down when they get confused. He bounces out of bounds at the 12. And now this offense will set up with excellent field position with a chance to cut into this lead. The offense will take over at the 12. First down, 10 to go. He's looking towards the left side. And he's tackled right around the 34-yard line by Landry.
We've played a quarter. The score, seven zip. Dolphins. And welcome back to Detroit. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 34. Dumps it out right. He's brought down around the 41-yard line by Davis. Number 81 caught that one for a gain of seven. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. Looking, fires it to the left. Yeah, I don't know if the ball slipped out of his hand or what, but that one really wasn't that close for a professional quarterback. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Pass is short right side. He's dropped down right around the 42-yard line by Allen. So, it's fourth down. The Lions, ready to punt this one away. Number 15 gets it at the 23. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space... He can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. Brown takes a handoff. He's wrestled down around the 37-yard line by Levy. First down and 10. Going down the middle with it. That wide receiver is fast, but he's not that fast. My goodness, get him the football. So they'll face a second and ten. Looks for the safe short throw. Yeah, I think he would have needed a jackhammer to get that one in there. That was tight coverage. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. <laughs> Throws the deep pass. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. Fourth down. The Dolphins lining up to punt.
starting back at his own 15. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. Allen was there for the stop. He did a good job there finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong and only a few that can really go right. Steps and throws to the left side. He bats the ball away. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. The ball is on their own 26. Goes through his progression. Goes for it all. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Number 81 was the intended receiver. Third down and 10 coming up here. Throws to his left. Jump ball! He's got it! What a play! It appears we have an injured player on the field. And we'll have a first down and 10. They spot it at the 48. Dumps it out left. He's tackled around the 33-yard line by Dansby. They line the ball up at the 33. Stafford with the give. And he's tackled at about the 31 by number 96. It's a second and eight situation now. Short throw to the right. He's brought down around the 28-yard line by number 92. Good defense all over the field that time. They had the deep routes covered, and when they tried to dump it off to the tight end, they were on it. And they line up at the 28. Deep pass. He wants the end zone. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. The field goal unit is on the field.
Off the upright. He missed it. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. They're on their own 35. Has a seam down the middle. He's dropped down around the 45-yard line by number 27. It's second down. They only need a couple of inches for the first. Has a man short to his left. Not able to make the catch in traffic. So that'll bring up third down. Just a couple of inches away from picking up this first down. They'll throw for the first. Flips it out short to his left. He's wrestled down around the 49-yard line by Smith. First down, 10 to go. Has a man to his right. He's tackled at about the 45-yard line by Greenwood. Cunningham made the catch for a gain of six. And just about four yards away here on second down. Looking for a big gain down the middle. Can't make the catch in traffic. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. Dumps it out right. Knocked out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Yeah, that's one if you study this team on tape, you're going to see them go to that in the clutch, and it worked again. It's first and 10. They spot it on the 39. Garrard hands it off, and he'll lose yardage on the play. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. They're looking now at second and 11. Ball on the 40-yard line. Garrard hands it off straight ahead. Hammered in the backfield. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. It's third down and 13. Ball on the 42. Hey. 
Makes the throw over the middle. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line by Smith. They pick up six with the pass. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's no good. Missed it to the right. They'll take over at the 43-yard line. First down and 10. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. Bacchus is guilty of moving early. First down, 15 to go, following the penalty. Stafford gives it up the middle. He's brought down around the 47-yard line by Allen. They're looking at second down and six. Ball on their own 47. Stafford with the give. He's dropped down around the 50-yard line by number 91. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. They weren't able to get the playoff. That will cost them five. And we'll replay third down. Tough spot for the quarterback now after that penalty because now the possibility of seeing that added pressure is really heightened. Looks left. Here's a short pass. The Dolphins did a good job forcing a three and out. Anytime a defense can come up with three solid plays in a row like that, you know they are right on schedule. It's fourth down. The Lions ready to punt this one away. He'll field it at the 17. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Passes short right side. Drops it, and he was pretty well covered. Second down and seven yards to go. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. The offense is moving in the wrong direction after that. For this offense to be effective, they have to stay on schedule. And when you get a penalty like that, it allows the defense to begin to bring some pressure. Dangerous situation for the offense. Sacked on the play action. So he goes down again. The defense is making their way into the backfield and getting to the quarterback. Chris, what can he do here to turn this around? Well, guess, you know, this guy can move. He isn't strictly a pocket passer. So look for him to try to scramble out of the pocket and try to make something happen with his feet. 
takes the snap. Here they come. And that sack will bring up fourth down as the offense couldn't get anything going on the series. Well, it's becoming pretty obvious at this point that they're having trouble blocking this defensive line. Now you really don't have a choice. You have to go to more three and five step drops. Get that ball out of there quickly. It's fourth and long now after the sack. Logan takes it at the 43. Takes this one out to the 46. Allen was there to bring him down. He was just a couple of steps away from breaking that one all the way. This coverage team better start stepping up or he's going to take one in for six. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's looking towards the left side. He's wrestled down right around the 16-yard line by Landry. And the big pickup through the air brings up a first down and 10. Short throw to the right. He's pushed out of bounds at the eight. Very risky pass. You never want to try and throw the ball across your body like that. Players in this league will come up with interceptions on that one. The offense sets up seven yards away from the score. This is one of the very best guys at seeing the entire field. Very seldom do you see him miss a good opportunity for a run, that time exploding through for the touchdown. Hansen ties it up with the point after. Detroit is just about ready to kick this one away. Number 15 is back to receive the kick. Caught at the 8. Gets to about the 24 before going down. Green was there for the stop. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Throws it to the middle. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. Marshall was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 24-yard line. Short throw to the left. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line by Smith. Nothing doing on that play.
Third down and nine. Steps and throws to the left side. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line by Spikes. First down, 10 to go. They're on their own 35. Dumps it out left. He drops the easy pick. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw anytime, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Short pass to his left. He's brought down around the 44-yard line by Smith. I love that call against man-to-man -man coverage. Just get the ball out of your hands quickly. You don't have to face the pressure and give your playmakers a chance on that end cut. That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three feet for the first. They'll throw for the first. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. So, it's fourth down. The Dolphins lining up to punt. Catches it, and they get him. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. They'll set up shop at the 14. It's first and 10. Beck gets it on the inside. He's dropped down right around the 18-yard line by Dobbins. They're looking at a second and seven. They have the ball on their own 18. He's wrestled down around the 18-yard line by Landry. And we've got a tie ball game here as we pause for halftime.
welcome back to Detroit. We look ready to get the second half underway. He makes it out to the 20. Number 28 was there to bring him down. They'll start at the 20. First down and 10. Throws to his left. The pass falls incomplete. Young was his intended target. So they'll face a second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Passes out to his right. Uh-oh! Watch out! Racing toward the end zone. Touchdown, Lions! Feel the roar! Well, that certainly has to be a little momentum builder for this offense. Nice drive. They stick it in, and now they're up six in the third quarter. And the point after is good. Detroit is up seven. Detroit looks ready to kick it away. Martin stands back to field the kick. He'll return it from the six. He gets to about the 27 and goes down. Smith was there for the stop. The offense will start at the 27. And we'll have a first down and 10. Brown runs a counter. He's tackled at about the 41 by number 42. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 41. It goes straight to the back. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line by Vanden Bosch. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 42. Brown will run it again. One of the tough things about trying to get a cornerback block is how athletic those guys are. If you're a fullback or an offensive lineman or somebody out in front trying to make that block, it's just tough to get a hand on those guys. They're quick.
Offense needs a dozen on this third down. Ball on their own 39. Has a man to his right. He's brought down right around the 44-yard line by number 27. Fourth down. The Dolphins are lining up to punt it away. The punt rolls into the end zone. Touchback. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 to go. The halfback with the carry. He's dropped down around the 23-yard line by Starks. Second and seven situation here. Stafford with the give. He's wrestled down around the 24-yard line by number 96. Third down, they need six for first down. Pass is short right side. He's got room. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line by number 92. It's first and ten. Ball is on their own 33. They'll get the call again. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line by number 28. And it's now second and six. Ball on their own 37. Flips it out short. He's brought down right around the 48-yard line by Dansby. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. From their own 48-yard line. throws to his right another catch on this drive he's dropped down at about the 21 by Allen so it's first down following the big gain through the air He didn't get back to the line. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive. The pursuit to the ball, they were all coming there. Second down and 15 to go. Throw. Enzo. 
He was going for the end zone, but the pressure that time on the blitz forced a bad throw, and that really was the difference on that one. The offense facing another third down here. Looks left. Here's a short pass. He's wrestled down right around the 24-yard line by Landry. They pick up two yards. Always a dangerous play when you get a wide receiver in the open field against man coverage. But that time, the defense was there and made a nice open field tackle. The field goal unit is on the field. It's up and it's good. Makes the long one with room to spare. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. Hansen is just about ready to kick this one away. Martin is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Camps under it. He will start from his own five. He brings it back to the 23. Barrett was there to bring him down. The offense will take over at the 23. First down and 10. Has a man out to his right. From their own 23-yard line. Checks down to the short pass. He's tackled around the 27-yard line by Spikes. The play fake gave the big tight end a chance to gain a little separation there, and the quarterback did a nice job of finding him with the pass. And looking at a third and six right here. Martin takes the give. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. It's fourth down. The Dolphins ready to punt this one away. Logan will take off at the 31. He gets out to the 45. Allen was there for the stop. Boy, that was a close one for the coverage team. They were able to wrap him up before he broke it open, but he is on the brink. This coverage team is going to have to start playing with a little more intensity, a little more heart, or they're going to give up a big one. Stafford hands off. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line by Dobbins. Second down and seven. Oh, 
Short throw to the right. A good job there by the quarterback to fit that ball in there with good coverage. Yeah, and the defensive back didn't really do anything wrong there. The quarterback just made a good throw. We'll see if he starts to play him a bit more aggressively, maybe initiate some contact and get that receiver out of his comfort zone going forward. And we'll have a first down and 10. They spot it at the 42. Smith gets the carry left side. He's brought down at about the 25-yard line by Smith. And I have a feeling this one is coming back. Burleson gets called for the hold. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. He gets another carry. He's dropped down around the 30-yard line by Davis. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Throws it over the middle of the field. He's wrestled down right around the 16-yard line by number 28. It's first and 10. They pitch it. He's tackled around the 13-yard line by McDaniel. <laughs> 11 yards out. Stafford hands it off. Big play. The Lions will have first and goal. This has turned out to be quite a drive. That's their fifth first down. This offense has been really impressive on this drive. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. And defensively right now, you can see the fatigue starting to kick in. Detroit trying to go up by three scores. So we'll head to the fourth with our score, 17-7. Seven. And welcome back to Detroit. The Lions have the ball in the red zone. As we begin the final quarter, they're looking to extend their advantage. is out to his right. Number 81 makes the catch. Hold on, this one might not be good. And the call is a touchdown. The PAT is up and good.
Hansen gets ready to kick it away. Number 15 is back to receive the kick. Gets the ball at around the 10. He returns to the 26. Smith was there to bring him down. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. The offense will start at the 26-yard line. First down and 10. He throws short. Catches it with one hand. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 36. Brown on the handoff. And he's tackled right around midfield by Delmas. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball at midfield. Brown takes the delayed handoff. He's brought down at about the 41 by Spikes. He's going to his right. Throws. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 19. First down. 10 to go. Martin, the ball carrier. They pick up nine there. Ten yards away from the end zone. Martin gets the carry. He's dropped down around the eight-yard line by Delmas. First and goal. Ball is on the eight-yard line. He's going to run with it. Touchdown, Miami. Quarterbacks that can run the Achilles heel for most defenses. They're just not set up to try and stop a quarterback on a play like that. And the point after is good. Fields is ready to kick this one off. Logan stands back to field the kick. And he'll return it from way back at the three. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Fields was there for the stop. And from their own 25-yard line. Hit 
and dropped behind the line. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover cornerback able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football player. That'll bring us to second and 13. He's looking down the middle. Throws. Interception. To the 20. To the 10. Flag on the play. And it looks like this touchdown may be coming back. Here's the call. He cruises in for the touchdown. Boy, it's tough enough to try and stop an NFL offense, but when you give them extra chances, it is almost impossible. And they line the ball up at the 26. Has a man short to his left. He's wrestled down at about the 11 by number 27. It's first and ten. Brown on the inside handoff. He's tackled at about the 13-yard line by Avril. So they are now on the 11. Ops for a short throw. They line it up at the four yard line. The give to the tailback. And he's tackled at about the three-yard line by Jackson. It's first and goal, and the offense would love to get into the end zone to make this a game again. They go with the toss. He powers into the end zone for a touchdown. That was just power versus power right there. Both teams in their goal line formation. The offense just simply won the battle at the point of attack. And this is to draw them within a field goal. And he adds the point after. Better than eight minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And our score is the Dolphins, 21. The Lions, 24. Fields looks ready to kick it away. Logan is deep looking to return the kickoff. And he gets the ball at the five. He gets back to the 29 before being stopped. Number 98 was there to bring him down. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. First down and 10.
He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. It is just so difficult for offensive lines to account for the safety. Typically, that's the one free runner that you have. And if you have a top-flight safety back there that can come in and make those kinds of plays, it really helps your run defense. Now they've got a second and 13 coming up. Steps and throws to the left side. Picked off. Down inside the 30. Is he going to score? They won't catch him. Touchdown and a late lead. You can't do that. You just cannot do that. If it's not there, you have to check that thing down. But there's no way in the world you can give up a defensive touchdown this late in the game. That's terrible. So after the pick, the defense puts up points on this possession. Point after is good. Miami holds a four-point lead. Fields will be kicking off. Logan is back to receive the kick. Number 98 was there for the stop. They'll start at the 22-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Stafford tosses to the left side. It's loose. Miami falls on it, and they have the turnover. What a tremendous play by the defense. You really began to get the feeling this offense was getting something going. They strip the football out of there and kill the drive, kill the momentum. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. Now we have a first down. And 10 to go. Pass is short right side. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on the 24. Someone jumped early down there. Long is guilty of moving early. So the penalty brings up a second and 15. Going down the middle with it. Deflected and broken up. Number 84 was his intended target. That'll bring up third down and 15. Garrard with the give. He's brought down around the 24-yard line by number 90. So the kicker on to put this through from about 41 yards.
The kick is good. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. Fields is just about ready to kick this one away. Young stands back to field the kick. And it's fielded at the four. Cunningham was there to bring him down. The offense will take over at the 30. First down, 10 to go. Stafford with the give. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. The coach can't be happy with him after that fumble. Priority number one has to be hanging on to the ball, right, Chris? Yeah, I guess it's so true. No team wants to give their opponent the chance to get a takeaway on a fumble, and I'm sure the coach will have a few choice words for him. You can bet the next time he touches that ball, he's going to be hanging on tight. Flips out short. He's dropped down at about the 49-yard line by Davis. They'll gain eight on the play. That'll bring up second down, a couple of yards needed to convert. Surveys the field. Fires a strike to the right. Knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Nice play that time. The defense came with the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. It's first and 10. The ball on the 28. Smith gets the ball. He's wrestled down around the 14-yard line by number 92. First down and 10. And they'll go from the 13. They pitch it. Brought down behind the line. If you want to be considered one of the top cornerbacks in the National Football League, everybody has to be able to cover. But the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. Facing a second at 11. And the Rock sits on the 14. Smith on the give. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line by Starks. Big down for the offense as they try to make up a deficit here in the fourth quarter. He's searching for a receiver. Looks right. Throws. Did he get there? We'll have a measurement. They say he was stopped short. Fourth down. Jim Schwartz throws his challenge flag, so this one will get another viewing.
And after looking into it further, they will reverse the call. Here they go. First and goal down by a touchdown. And he's tackled around the two-yard line by number 55. Second and goal coming up. Two minutes left in the ball game. They get it out there on the toss. He's dropped for a loss. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. He's got it. Touchdown. It's a whole new game now, Chris. Yeah, and if we can assume the extra point, which is probably not a good idea, but if this thing is tied, we're a long way from overtime. Plenty of time for the other team to go back down the other way. The PAT is up and good. Just under the two-minute mark here, and this one couldn't be any closer. And the game is all tied up at 31. Detroit gets ready to kick it away. Martin is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. There's a flag on the play. He brings it back to the 30. Barrett was there for the stop. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Number 84 is flagged for a hold on the play. They'll set up shop at the 16-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. It goes straight to the back. He lost yardage on the play. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. And the snap goes right to the back. He doesn't get back to the line. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Third down now, 10 yards for the first. The ball is on their own 16. Looks left. Here's a short pass. He's brought down around the 33-yard line by number 42. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball is on their own 33. And we have a flag on the play. Has a man out to his right. And this one looks like it's going to come back. And I really didn't see the hold there. You're starting to sound more like an offensive lineman every day, Gus. You know, the reality is there really is holding on every single play, but the rule changes now allow for guys to grab within the framework of the body. You just can't reach outside that framework. 
Cunningham gains four yards with that reception. It's now second and 15. Ball spotted at the 27. Finds a hole up the middle. He's dropped down around the 34-yard line by Delmas. Takes off with it, and he's in the clear. Who says quarterbacks aren't athletes? He looked pretty good on that play. Nice job. Found the hole. Got upfield. Got down without getting injured. Good play. Searching for an open man. They're going for the home run. Interception. That interception could change the complexion of this game. When you're playing with a tie score, you have to try to be aggressive, obviously, to get the game-winning score. But if you turn it over, oh, my, what a painful turnover that was. Flag on the play. He's wrestled down around the 21-yard line by Landry. And that flag was thrown in the neighborhood of holding. They go from their own five-yard line. Hold on, there is a flag down. He's tackled around the five-yard line by number 92. They're looking now at second and 11. And the ball on their own five. Smith off the right side. And he's tackled at about the seven-yard line by number 92. Well, folks, we keep it right here as both teams put up a ton of points, but we still end up in a tie game at the end of regulation. We head to overtime. And welcome back to Detroit. Miami looks ready to kick it away. Logan is back to receive the kick. And the tackle was made by Mabin. They have it at the 19. Goes through his progression. Finds a man. Watch out here. He's brought down around the 35-yard line by Landry. First down, 10 to go. They're on their own 35. Takes it right up the gut, and he's got room to run. He's dropped down around the 47-yard line by Davis. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 47. Stafford gives it up the middle. He's wrestled down at about the 47-yard line by number 92. That'll make it second down with 10 to go.
dumps it out right. He lost it. I think the defense has it, and they do. Watch out. He's got space. He's looking for a burst of speed. It looks like there's a penalty. Looks like the penalty is going to cost him. This one should be coming back. They got it. This one is over. Well, that certainly was a bad break for the defense, but what a break for this offense. So they line up at the 31. And it looked like someone on the offensive line jumped. Boy, it's tough enough to try and stop an NFL offense, but when you give them extra chances, it is almost impossible. And backed up now to first and 15. Ball on the 36-yard line. Under heavy pressure. And that's sack number four in the game. The pressure by this defense has been there all day. And offensively, they're just struggling trying to come up with a protection scheme that works. We've got a second and long situation. Looking for a man. He rolls out to his right. Under pressure. He felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. That'll bring up a third and long. So the ball on the 45. He needs to get rid of it. And they got him. Well, now they'll be faced with a fourth down situation. This quarterback better start changing up that snap count or he's going to get slaughtered back there. You can't allow the defensive lineman to anticipate the snap count. There you saw they got off the ball faster than the offensive line did. It's fourth down. The Dolphins are lining up to punt it away. And it's in the end zone for a touchback. They take over at the 20. Short throw to the right. He drops the easy pick. They can't complete the pass, and now the offense will be looking at second down. So they'll face a second and ten. They hand it off. He's tackled at about the 25-yard line by number 98. It's a third and five situation. Looks for the safe short throw. So from their own 36 yard line. They might have missed time to snap on that one. Well, no excuse there. The offensive line obviously knows the snap count, but I suppose it's easy to lose concentration with one of those big defensive linemen in your face. Stafford hands off. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line by Allen.
We've got second and nine yards to go. Ball on their own 37. Has a man to his right. He's brought down around the 47-yard line by Dobbins from their own 47-yard line. Draw play. Hammered in the backfield. You know, listen, I, I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, I, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in their way. It's a second and 11 situation here. Ball on their own 46. Stafford hands it off straight ahead. That's a gain of five. That brings up another third down attempt. They're setting up the screen. He's dropped down at about the 47-yard line by number 91. Pretty good job by the defense that time. They took away the deep throws, forcing the check down, and then they were there to make the tackle for a short game. Fourth down. The Lions line up to punt. The punt rolls into the end zone. Touchback. First down and ten. There's a flag on the play. He's wrestled down around the 21-yard line by Vanden Bosch. And I have a feeling this one is coming back. Well, the defense was out there battling on that one, but that was exactly the kind of break this offense needed. Now the offense faces a first and long situation. They break the huddle at their own 10. Martin gets the carry. The defense has been all over him today, so it looks like he's going to try to make some plays with his feet. Yeah, he definitely looks rattled out there, and that's not to say that this guy can't run, but a quarterback should really be thinking pass first and using the run when the opportunity is there. That'll bring us to a second and long situation. The Rock is on their own 13. It's a direct snap. He's going to be tackled for a loss. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. We've got a third and long here. And looking right, he lets it go. Good release that time by the receiver at the line of scrimmage, but the pass simply was just not there. It's fourth down. The Dolphins ready to punt this one away. Logan fields it at the 42. 
They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. On the ground, up the middle. Six-yard pickup. They'll need about three yards here on second down. They go with the toss. He's tackled around the 47-yard line by number 55. So that'll bring up third down, just a couple of inches away from picking up this first down. Looking, fires it to the left. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. Fourth down. The Lions lining up to punt. Here comes the punt. No, it's a pass. Incomplete pass, and that was fourth down. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Has a man open in the middle. And he's tackled right around the 50-yard line by Smith. Number 15 picks up about three with the catch. They line up at the 50. Throws it to the middle. He's brought down right around the 38-yard line by Avril. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. The running back has it. He's dropped down around the 34-yard line by Smith. So they have it at the 34. Handoff up the middle. You could just tell he was not going to the ground until he got past that first down marker. I really like the determination in this guy in picking up first downs. Passes short right side. He's wrestled down right around the 24-yard line by Spikes. Number 84 gains four yards with that reception. Throws middle of the field. Complete. He hasn't missed yet on this drive.
They'll line up the field goal unit. This one from 31 yards out. Win it! What a finish! So the score now, the Dolphins, 34, the Lions, 31. That'll do it from Detroit. Stay right there for highlights and stats. And let's take a look at the Gatorade Performer of the Game.